today, Microsoft announced something big. Facebook agrees to another feature that could hinder your privacy. And if you like overclocking your CPU, this article would interest you. Last night, Microsoft announced Windows 8, or more so previewed Windows 8, and is now available to download. Links will be supplied in the underbar right there. So you can go right to Microsoft's website and download it, or you can torrent it, totally legal torrent. It's just it's faster to torrent that way. But you also have a slight chance somebody could taint it with a virus, very unlikely, but torrenting's faster, or you can download it directly from Microsoft's website. The links below uh, about Windows 8, Windows 8, they were running this on netbooks of speed, 1 gig RAM, netbook Atom processor, and it ran fine, and that's, I'm very glad of that, so no, like I was saying on Monday, there, um, I'm glad there's not any system performance hit for Windows 8. It seems like a lot of graphical features maybe a uh, performance increase in some areas for this operating system over Windows 7. Hopefully, not very unlikely, but hopefully there aren't going to be any issues with this, the crashes or anything else like that. It's also awesome been shown that um, there's a new type of blue screen. So instead of just getting a straight, your typical blue screen, if you've seen one, BSOD, and it's going to have like a little smiley face. It's like kind of like a Google style, like, oh, I'm sorry, or we had a problem, your computer had an issue, and it has to shut down and restart. And it's kind of a happier little message that said, just not like, boom, blue screen, your computer crashed. Well, sucks for you. But I'm looking forward to um, downloading the Windows 8 preview right now as we speak. Because I, I was doing something last night and never got to see the, the release and everything. So I'm downloading that right now. I'm going to see if I can, if you want me to, I'm supposed to do it. I'm probably going to do it anyway make videos on some things when they say I'm going to virtualize it on one of my computers or maybe both. See performance, startup times, blah blah blah, blah something like that of Windows 8. They, they give you some performance reference and other things of that matter. Yeah, if you want to know what that noise was, it unfortunately was, um, I have my windows open in my dorm room and the car's going by. So, sorry about the car noise and that such. If that oh, drowns me out, sorry about that. Um, next we have Facebook that's included an option, kind of like Google Plus, how you can follow people. S Facebook added a subscribe button, so you can subscribe to people, like, more so for, like, celebrities and people, like, it's, like, your friends, you see all their status updates, but on non-friends you cannot, but if non-friends allow to be subscribed to, you can subscribe to the status updates, and you can see non-friend status updates but you'll not be able to see the info that's what this does I'm assuming this is not going to be turned on by default otherwise you're going to have huge privacy issues but this is a cool feature added to Facebook obviously copying off Google Plus Twitter such an, or YouTube of that matter but it's a I mean, feature I'm sur sure people will use on Facebook one last cool thing if you like overclocking more specifically overclocking on AMD CPUs I have both Intel CPUs overclocked to my computers, and maybe one day AMD is just, um, for what I do video editing, Intel processors are faster, you're just going to game. AMD is a cheaper method and gets you pretty much the same performance, but for video processing, Intel has always been faster. Now in this case, if you're able to overclock like this, they, um, a team of overclockers were able to overclock an AMD FX CPU to 8.429 gigahertz, the new world record. The old world record is 8.3 gigahertz, and now they have 8.4. To accomplish this, you have to have an extreme heat sink more so. They first use liquid nitrogen to cool the CPU, then have to turn to liquid helium, which is even colder than liquid nitrogen, to cool off the CPU so they can reach this. And it's just a new feat. Never, not nothing practical, but it seems though you can even get these CPUs to five gigahertz on what on typical CPU fan coolers, the high end ones, or water coolers. That matter, you can get the five gigahertz on these CPUs. Why you would want it that high? Show off maybe. Uh, 
just maybe so once in a while, I don't, I don't know. It's just useless, it creates a lot of heat, a lot of power waste, lessens the life of your components. It's not worth going that high, unless you just kind of show off like the server clock machine honestly. But a world record, yeah, it's worth it. Because it doesn't really matter to making a lot of money from it, getting a lot of publicity, while AMD CPUs can overclock a lot. If you overclock, well, the AMD CPUs are much more cost effective than Intel CPUs for price to performance ratio if you're going to overclock. thought that was cool. Remember the links below to download Windows 8 beta. It's just an ISO. You can probably virtualize it with VMware, I would assume. But if not, you can install a separate partition on your computer and install it that way, just normally how you install Windows. You can go to my video how to install Windows 7 and that such. And it's probably very similar to Windows 8. If you like my video, hit the like button and favorite subscribe to works. And I'll be seeing you on Friday. Give you some performance reference.